art nerds. I have written and talked about alcohol markers for years over here on this channel and over at natosoup.blogspot.com. And today I thought I would go over my top five picks for alcohol, alcohol markers plus one honorable mention. So keep watching. We're going to begin with the Copic Sketch. This was the first super brush tip enabled marker that Copic released and it's a long time favorite of mine. Copic sketches are available in 214 colors with nine different tip options, including my favorite super brush tip. You can replace the tips. They are refillable and they come in empty markers so you can expand that collection even beyond the 214 colors available in sketch. You can fill with any Copic various ink as well as Jacquard Pinata inks and uh, Ranger Adirondack inks including the two shown here. One is a various ink and the other is a ranger ink. My next pick is the sketch's little sister, the Copic Chow. Still using the same alcoholic base ink, it's available in a slightly smaller collection of 180 markers with no empty markers available to refill with colors of your choice. The form factor is a little bit different, but it does feature replaceable nibs and it's a little bit smaller and a little bit safer to use for younger hands than the Copic Sketch, featuring a child safe cap that's ventilated to prevent it becoming a choking hazard. My next pick are the Blick Studio Brush Markers. These are manufactured for Dick Blick and are one of I think three alcohol markers that they have sold with their store brand. The first being the studio markers, which were chisel and bullet nib. The last being the illustrator markers, which were a limited time offer. They are very similar in form factor to Copic markers with a small divot on each cap to make them a little bit easier to get the caps off. And they're available in 96 colors. These are not refillable. Do not re feature replaceable uh, caps. But starting at three just under $3 a marker, they are a great choice for beginners or people who are looking to fill in the gaps of their alcohol marker collection or for artists who really don't use alcohol markers that much but do want a collection. My fourth pick are Prismacolor markers. These non-refillable markers are pretty ubiquitous. They are available from Michaels to fine arts stores all across the US. I like them because they feature now a nice brush tip um, they used to be only available in the chisel tip plus the fine point tip, but now they've released a nice soft brush tip that lays down a juicy application of color. And they are great for filling in holes in your Copic marker collection as they're available in true purples, intense blues, and brilliant yellows. Colors that Copic has always been kind of hit or miss on. You can get them, uh, you can get them in sets or open stock. And they usually start at, out at around $3.96 a marker for open stock and a little bit cheaper in sets. But you can find them on sale on Amazon quite frequently for less than that. They're av available in a wide range of 200 colors. My final of the five, Shin Han Twin Touch Brush Markers are a little bit harder to find, but you can find them at dickblick.com or in person at stores like Flax in San Francisco. They're very similar to Copic markers, slightly smaller than the Copic originals, a little bit more ergonomic, and feature many of the same features that Copic markers feature. They have replaceable nibs, they are, have refillable inks, and they are available in 204 colors and feature a color range that is slightly different from the Copic marker color range which allows you to fill in holes in either collection with markers from either collection. So these are my top five picks for alcohol markers. My honorable mention goes to these brand new Crayola Signature Blending Markers. They're only available in 14 colors with two colorless blenders, not yet available open stock, and you can't pick up colors as they run out. However, at less than a dollar per marker, they are an exceptional deal, and you can get them almost anywhere that Crayola products would be sold. So if you're interested in dabbling with alcohol markers, if you want a cheap in, these are a great way to do that. I have here 
a lineup of all the markers just mentioned in this video, starting with the Crayola Signature Blending Marker and ending with the Prismacolor Marker. We're going to do a quick zoom over comparison and talk about the different features and how they stack up. The Crayola Signature Blending Marker is a single tip alcohol marker which features a compressed fiber tip. It has a somewhat ergonomic grip that helps you remove the cap which has breathing holes on the top making it a little bit safer. Helps you remove the cap from the barrel. Screened on the body is a simple color name in three different languages. These are not refillable and currently not sold open stock and there are no color families. There's just 14 colors right now. Next we have the Copic Sketch. It's got the Copic branding screened on the body as well as the family and which side is the chisel nib and which side is the brush nib. The brush nib is also color coordinated with a color collar and the top is color coordinated with the color inside as well as a color family and a color name. We're looking at G24 Willow. Next, the Copic Chow, very similar. They differentiate with the nibs. Here we have a broad medium chisel nib, so the same chisel nib as on the Copic Sketch does not have the color name on the barrel, does have the color family, G05. Uh, the top itself is color coordinated to match the color of the marker inside, but there is no color name or color family on it. Actually, I think the color is screened on here somewhere. I just gotta find it. Yep, emerald green, G05. These are, both of these Copic markers are refillable refillable and feature replaceable nibs. You can find the refills at most art supply stores such as Jerry's Artorama, Plaza, or Dick Blick. Next, the Blick Studio Brush Markers. These are only sold through Dick Blick. They are a Dick Blick exclusive. They don't have replaceable nibs. They don't have refills sold in source. I have heard of artists I have heard of artists refilling these at home. The body screening is pretty simple. You get the chisel nib indicator, you get the brush nib indicator, but there is no color coordinated collar to let you know which end is which. On the other side, you get the color name, you get a little more product information, and on the cap, you get a color coordinated plastic chip that indicates the color of the marker inside, the color family, and the color name. With the twin touch markers, you do get a color coordinated collar. You do get a brush nib indicator. You get a broad chisel nib indicator. Although it is not screened on the body, you do get the color family on the uh, barcode sticker. The caps which I didn't have in the shot because they have a little bit of scalloping which makes them very difficult to, to, to balance. Uh, feature a color coordinated cap that matches the color inside the marker, the color family, and the color name. We have here P283 uh, Purple Deep. These do have replaceable nibs and they do have refills for the ink if you can find them. Lastly, the Prismacolor markers. They have a nice scallop doodle to indicate the brush tip and you want to look for the scallop doodle when purchasing these because in terms of looks these markers don't differentiate, aren't too different from the original Prismacolor markers so you have to be kind of careful and know what you're looking for if you want the brush tip markers. There is no body screening, it is a sticker made in the USA has the color name and the color family and these are currently manufactured by Newell Rubbermaid which happened I think like four years ago probably a little longer than that so they are manufactured by the same people currently manufacturing Sharpies. The cap does not have the color name it does have a swoosh to indicate that these are brush markers and it has the color family we're looking here at PB40 but it's just a sticker these are non-refillable and do not feature replaceable nibs. Of all the markers we have looked at today, all of these except for the Crayola feature a foam rubber brush nib. This is an important distinction because those are very 
not prone. They are very resistant to fraying and they offer a juicy ink lay down, which helps you apply a streak free finish on your first application. I have here a very old, very beaten up Copic bleed proof marker pad and I thought it would be fun to do some swatching on it. We'll go ahead and begin with the Copic sketch. Next, we'll take a look at the chow. Now we've got the Blick Studio brush. Next up is the Shinhan Twin Touch. Next, we have the Prismacolor marker. Finally, our honorable mention, the Crayola Signature Blending Marker. So those are my top five alcohol-based markers plus an honorable mention. You can find reviews for most of these markers here on the channel. And for what you can't find here, you can find at natosoup.blogspot.com and my Alcohol Markers Hub page. I've got loads of alcohol marker tips, tricks, and tutorials that I have assembled over the years, so why don't you head on over and check that out. I apologize for the wonky, wonky recording when I was doing the test, and I am going to experiment with some other methods of capturing footage for that sort of thing so that we can get a better, more conclusive look at how these brush tips actually work. So I hope you guys will keep watching the channel, keep an eye out for that, and let me know in the comments below what you thought. I hope you guys have a great day, and as always, it was a pleasure to see you. Bye, guys!